Are you about to pull your hair out from trying to figure out how to connect to your Office 365 SMTP relay? Trust me, I was about to. <laughs> now, bit of a disclaimer here. I, this was a bonus video, actually. I was not planning to do this because I have just, I have struggled with this. I've tried doing this before and actually I could never get it working. So I will show you how it works in Jenkins, but also I wanna show you a couple things that you need to make sure you have already set up in order for this to work successfully and uh, to keep a little bit of your sanity in check while you're doing it too. So I'm gonna first walk you through a checklist so you can have that on hand while you're walking through the actual Jenkins tutorial later on in the video. Um, if you just wanna jump to the tutorial, I'll go ahead and put the timestamp below in the description. Just be forewarned that if you miss though anything of the checklist, it may not work for you and you may get some weird funky auth errors like I was battling for a couple, many, many hours the other day. Before we get started though, please feel free to make sure you click subscribe down below. It really does help support me uh, making this kind of content for you on a weekly basis and I hope you guys get something out of it. If you do, you can go ahead and reciprocate by uh, hitting that subscribe button for me and the notification bell to be notified when my videos come out. Here's the tech info for today's tutorial. Um, I have my Jenkins and Docker versions listed right here. Of course, I am operating on my Mac and iSierra, and we will be uh, needing a Microsoft account for this, as well as a few other things that we'll dive into. So some general things about the SMTP relay today, they have a relay limit of 10,000 messages per day. Auth requirement, the username and password of, of your Microsoft email account, which we'll set up and I'll give you the deets here in a second. Big thing is it is not SSL compatible, TLS only. So we will not be using SSL today. Uh, that's okay. TLS is just a different type of um, secure protocol. If you guys would like to know more about that, I have posted a link below just to kind of uh, go over the detail, the differences between SSL and TSL, because I certainly didn't know about it like two days ago. So for the first item on our checklist, it's is to make sure you have an exchange plan and a business or enterprise enterprise plan. So you can see right now on my account, I did purchase the Exchange Online Plan 1 and the Office 365 Business. Now you do have to have those, so make sure you have those in your account. And as you can see, I am in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So when you go here, it'll first take you, when you log into the Admin Center, it'll take you to this dashboard here. So you'll just wanna go to users i think how i looked this up was yeah users active i selected me and so then i came over here just to license and apps and it'll show you what i uh, purchased so for the second part of the checklist have valid domain name or they will assign one for you i mean that when you sign up for a business account here you'll enter your email address and then create your business identity. That is where you will um, either add the domain name for your email or Microsoft will assign one for you. All right, now back at our admin center, you'll wanna click the user that you are using uh, for your mailbox. You'll wanna go over here to the mail section manage email apps and you want to come over here and make sure that authenticated smtp is checked so something to double check with um, when you're looking at using a mailbox for the smtp relay it cannot be a shared mailbox all right and then for the last gotcha you just need to make sure that you don't have any uh multi-auth like configured no two-factor authentication can be used for this smtp user so with the jenkins checklist there are a couple things you need to make sure are set up correctly you need to make sure that port 587 or 25 now i used 587 i hadn't used 25 but you need to make sure those are open and available and you will need to make sure tls is enabled on your jenkins whether it's in a docker container like mine or if it's just a local host that docker command below is what i run every time now when i'm using my jenkins on my uh, local host so just to make sure that you do do have Jenkins uh, successfully TLS enabled. You'll come down here to manage Jenkins. Uh, 
da, 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 da. system information here we go down here and this is what we're looking for right here java ops and just make sure that those are enabled and though they do say true Okay guys, so here we are on my uh, Jenkins container and let's go ahead and go over here to manage Jenkins. We're going to come over here next then to configure system. Go down here. So one thing we do need to make sure of that we have the mailbox domain name the uh, right here, which we need to put in as the system admin email address. Uh, don't ask me why, that involves a much deeper conversation into Jenkins' code than I can handle right now. So we're going to go down here to the email notification area. I'm going to go ahead and put in our SMTP relay that we're going to be using today, and that's this guy right here. The default user email suffix. Whoop, I need to go ahead and uh, grab that here. Bring it down here. We'll go ahead and open advance. I'm going to check the use SMTP authentication. Now your username, of course, is going to be the uh, name that we have above. And I think I spelled that right. I better just copy and paste just to make sure. Sometimes I just don't trust myself. Password. Do not uh, check this use SSL box. We'll go over that in just a second. Over why not. So the SMT port we're going to be using is 587. And you can add a no reply uh, tag here. We could just do um, I can't see on Microsoft dot com. We're going to test it. Okay, so it says the email was successfully sent. Let's go ahead and check our Gmail. And here it is. Here is the test email that we just wrote from Jenkins. using the TLS. Perfect. Okay, so now that we know that that email was successfully sent, I want to go ahead and take our configurations from here and uh, move them up to the extended email notification area because this is what we will be wanting to use when oh, there it is. Because this is what we will be wanting to use when we uh, hook up the email notification in our actual jobs. So let me go ahead, SMTP, office365.com, password 587, don't check the use SSL. That's fine. And we'll just keep the default subject and everything else the same. And this is when you can get more into deep detail uh, using this this plugin specifically, other than the other one. Um, you can have uh, scripts, all these other things. You can change your default triggers here. Of course, just defaultly, I have these jobs um, when I use this plugin to only trigger on success. Uh, you can change that here if you'd like. Okay, I think I got everything. Uh, looks like I do. Yeah. Yep, all right. We're back here on the uh, Jenkins dash dashboard. So I created a job here, the Office 365 email notification example. We'll go in here. Click configure. I already preset up a little bit of things like deleting the workspace before build starts, uh, the script here. 
So we'll go down here to post build actions, editable email notification. So we're going to do project from is going to be the email address that the relay is going to be using. The project recipient list, we can put something here and you can add more emails to this list if you like. If you just click this little question mark here, it'll it'll tell you how to um, like the correct syntax and stuff like that. We're only just doing one for now. Uh, project reply to list, I just do your generic no reply. Content type, I usually keep this just normal default content. I don't really change it at all. Uh, default subject, so this is where you could just use the default subject if you have it configured in the configure system. We can do uh, Office 365 Relay job results. Okay, and this is just kind of like a dummy report that I put right here. So it'll basically, this script up, up above will spit out this like super important uh, text file as a report. And then you'll see like how the syntax is here. If you need more information, you can of course look over uh, to the side with the blue question mark. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the attach build log as well. Select save, build now. Okay, blue, successful. Let's check the console output. Uh, email was triggered for success, sending email. Okay, finish success. And always make sure guys to read the console output even if it says that blue icon because there can be uh, false positives quite frequently. And here's the email that we received from Jenkins after the job was completed with this kind of text report and uh, the build log. If you are still having trouble uh, hooking up to this relay, please feel free to leave a qu your question in the comments and I will get to you as soon as possible. I do check the comments on a regular basis um, and I am available when the video first is screening. And uh, that's about it. Now I have to go start canceling all the subscriptions and the plans I just set up with Microsoft for this video. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.